cross collar grips can be a super effective tool to have in the bag. And it's one that I always use when doing Jiu Jitsu. So when we're in this position, the cross grip we want to take isn't here. I don't want to just set my hand on the gi. The big thing is this has to be done aggressively. I want to make sure that my partner feels it and he freaks out. So when we set this grip, we want to come through the gi where we get some motion. Okay, my hand goes all the way through until our watch touches the shoulder and my elbow is framed across my partner's chest playing defense. This is gonna ensure that when he tries to run to our back, he's gonna have a hard time getting there because I can curl in and my elbow is playing a good solid defense. This is version number one where we're going at our partner, we're hitting him, and then we're looking for our ankle picks, we're looking for our sayanagis, we're looking for our hard collar drags to the singles. This is what we're, we want to do, is make sure that that hand gets through that position and I stumble my partner with it. And my hand stays up and ready to go, okay? The other version here of a cross collar grip that we can use is one where we snatch, okay? Meaning, when I'm in this position, I'm not trying to go through my partner and get aggressive where I push him, but rather I try to create motion through movement where I'm gonna slide to my left and this time when I grab it, I'm gonna grab and pull together like I'm trying to steal my partner's gi, okay? And that motion is elbow high. The watch this time goes right to my partner's face. So when I grab, I come up and I block his field of view. That's the big thing here, is his vision is obscured because of my hand. And I try to get that few extra steps coming forward. So when we're in this position, I'm gonna circle to my left as I snatch that and I come up, making sure that I keep his vision blocked. And then from there, I can get into an elbow shake. I can look for my foot sweeps. I can look for my collar drags. But they're two completely different setups that look very similar. We have to pay attention to what we can and can't do from each one. When we're in this position where I'm driving on version one, it, I can hit ankle picks, I can run him over, I can hit firemen's from there, I can hit doubles, I can drag and get to the back. There's a lot of different things I can do. On the version two where we snatch and my elbow goes high, I don't have all those options because when I'm in this one, I'm actually moving away from my partner, trying to get him off balance. It's not until he recovers from that initial pull that now I can go into my ankle picks. So one is a little bit slower, the other one, super aggressive. Version one, we're going right after him with confidence. We're a little bit stronger, a little bit more physical. And I just want to get at him and I want to look for that finish right away. Version two, trying to be a little sneaky about it. Move him a little bit. Maybe we're a little bit faster, we're not as strong. Version two will be a great option for you. But again, if you don't block his field of view and you pull down, you may not like the end result because you may not get that elbow back up. We can see he's already taken a grip there on the elbow. I may not be able to get that motion I'm looking for. Whereas when my elbow is high and he takes that grip on the elbow, now I can get some motion where I can bring it down and I can get him to move where he's looking for that grip, okay? If he takes a grip here and he keeps that elbow low, what happens when I go like this? He can't get it back up. Whereas if he lifts it up and I put my hand here, when he drops it, he can start moving me and he can bounce my head, which is one of the key things you're looking for on version two. You're looking for that head movement. Boom. When we move that, we're getting that motion. Getting that motion, making sure that the gi and the hand is not on the chest. We don't want to rub his body. We want the gi jacket to come off his chest so that we have play in the jacket that's what's gonna make him nervous. That's what's gonna make him wanna grab that hand to unwind it to try to take it off. And when he does that, it's when we're elbow passing and we're looking for the back, we're looking for our two points. So just as a quick refresher, we got version one, back of the watch on the shoulder, elbow across the chest so that he can't get to the back, okay? Making sure everything's nice and tight. I'm looking for my ankle picks, my collar drags, okay? I've seen people go to double legs with a lot of success. Version two is away from our partner where we snatch the gi and we block his field of view with our arm and we get some elbow motion as we move around 
and then look for a takedown.